COVID-19 precautions ease, we may be ready to return to life as we know it. But how will our children's immune systems respond to the change of pace? Fox 6's Casey Cronus joins us live in Milwaukee with something doctors say parents shouldn't leave on the back burner. Casey? Ben and Steph, one local expert, tells us she isn't as worried about kids' immune systems catching up as she is concerned that they'll be falling behind on their routine immunizations. It's been such a strange, strange year. Amid masking, social distancing, and hand washing, Ascension All Saints Chair of Pediatrics, Dr. Margaret Hennessy, says the pandemic also resulted in a drop in routine care. I think the biggest thing now that makes us nervous and we're trying to scramble for is really trying to catch up all the kids on their vaccines. As cases of COVID-19 rose and restrictions kept us home, many children went without regular exposure to daycare, school, and even play dates. We are coming back together, and the worry is that we're going to spread other diseases that are vaccine preventable. Some that come to mind for Dr. Hennessy include tetanus, meningitis, HPV, and measles. It's so contagious that if I had measles in one part of my building, through the air ducts, it could spread to the entire building. If we let pockets go unvaccinated, we're going to see these diseases come back. She also warns about an unexpected trend doctors are seeing with RSV. Respiratory succinctial virus. Which typically presents in the winter months, but currently, Dr. Hennessy says, is on the rise in southern states. So to start to see it popping up now is unusual. RSV can be associated with severe disease in young children and older adults. There is no vaccine for the virus, but Dr. Hennessy says physicians are keeping an eye on the potential for it to move north. We've never been through this before, so we have no playbook. And the CDC vaccine schedules app, it looks like this. It can help you track what vaccinations your kids need. For example, if you click this section, birth to six years old, you can see a table which outlines age information and dose information for each shot. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. As a parent, it can get tough to track. That is for sure. That makes it a lot easier. Casey, thank you.